Your Excellency, Mrs. Samo Zisa Barut, <coughs> Chairperson of the ACP Committee of uh, Ambassadors, His Excellency Dr. Patrick, a representative of His Excellency Dr. Patrick Gomes, His Excellency Avina Habei, Dean of ACP Ambassadors, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Foremost, let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for the warm welcome to this assembly. I wish also to thank the Chief of Protocol for the kind introduction. I take this opportunity to thank Her Excellency Mrs. Amo Aziza Broad, Ambassador of the Republic of Chad and Chairperson of the Committee of Ambassadors for inviting me to address you. I feel strongly honored to address this assembly as I commence my work as the Ambassador of Kenya in Brussels. Madam Chairperson, allow me to briefly highlight a number of crucial developments on political and economic fronts of my country. Kenya, it's, uh, Kenya held its last general elections in the second half of 2017. The elections involved a second round of presidential elections following the annulment of the first election by the Supreme Court. While the long electioneering period brought about anxiety, a successful congregation has handed to Kenya's democratic credentials. His Excellency uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and the Honorable Raida Ondinga, the main opposition figure, have set aside their political differences since March 2018 and agreed to work aside uh, uh, to work together for the good of the country. This milestone has ushered in a new era of calm and confidence for the Kenyan people. The focus of the government and the leadership of His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta now is to grow economy and advance the welfare of its people. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the priority focus of Kenyan government for the next five years will be on the big four plan which targets the following. First, support value addition and raise the manufacturing sector's share to GDP uh, uh, of 15% by 2022. This will accelerate economic growth, create jobs, and reduce poverty. Number two, focus on initiatives that guarantee food security and nutrition to all Kenyans by 2022 through expansion of food production and supply, reduction of food prices to ensure affordability and support value addition in food processing value chain. Number three, provide universal coverage, thereby guaranteeing quality and affordable health care to all Kenyans. Number four, provide decent and affordable housing to all Kenyans and thereby improve their living conditions. You will appreciate that these challenges are not peculiar to Kenya but the, the entire ACP group and the developing world at lunch. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya looks forward to partner with the ACP countries and uh, relevant stakeholders, including the private sector. Madam Chairperson, the blue economy is a new frontier for development as we move to tap into a productive capacity over water resources and empower communities in a sustainable way as we build 
our economy. Historically, great civilizations and empires have been built around and through resources from lakes, rivers, seas, and oceans. Towards this head, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya, in, par in partnership with Canada, will host a high-level conference on sustainable blue economy from the 26th to the 28th November 2018 in Nairobi. So how uh, all are welcome, Karibu Kenya. We believe this transformative conference will provide an opportunity to the SCP countries to engage with the rest of the world and explore the means to advance the oceans, seas, lakes and rivers. Potential, which is one of the cross-cutting themes in the ACP negotiating mandate for the post-2020 negotiations. Kenya has already extended invitations to your respective governments and the ACP sec Secretariat to participate at this critical forum. Madam Chairperson, Kenya as a founding member of the ACP a group attaches tremendous importance to this group and its potential to support the efforts of developing countries like Kenya to secure their interests in the global arena. As such, the government of Kenya, which I represent, greatly values the commendable work carried out by the ECP. As a result, Kenya has always participated actively in the activities of this group. For instance, in 2014, uh, Kenya welcomed the ACP family in Nairobi for the 99th session of ACP Council of Ministers meeting and the 9th joint ACP EU Council. In December 2016, Kenya again hosted the ACP Parliamentary Assembly and the ACP-EU Joint Parliamentary Assembly in Nairobi. Again, in March this year, Kenya has, uh, uh, was honored to host the East African region ACP-EU Joint Parliamentary Assembly. As I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that Kenya will continue to support and facilitate the work of the group to ensure that we meet the mandates we have bestowed on our organization. All must be seen to be active participants of ACP activities without fail. Madam Chairperson, the ACP partnership is at its critical yet momentous stage. As we commence negotiations with the EU for the future agreement, of the expiry of the Cotonou Partnership Agreement in 2020. Kenya has already stated its position regarding the modalities for the negotiation of the future agreement. We all have a responsibility to get the best agreement for our member states and our people. History is in the making, ladies and gentlemen. Let us all be proud and member of members of this history. Excellencies, we have a music set piece with us, which I believe we have mastered. And that music masterpiece is the negotiation bandit. This committee is the conductor of this great orchestra, which will be played in Brussels from October 2018. The Committee of Ambassadors, as the conductor, must be guided by our set piece and avoid getting distracted by noises from the crowd. Otherwise, the orchestra will jumble notes and we shall have bad music. Uh, on this note, I assure you my readiness to work uh, with my colleagues in the Central Negotiation Group and this committee to, assure, to ensure that we achieve the best results in the upcoming process. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I once again applaud 
the long relationship that we have nurtured over the years. We should stand together as a community with a common history and vision for the future to realize the aspirations of our hands of state and government to transform our group into an influential partner in economic governance and global policy. We must make the voice of ACP be heard in the international arena. I thank you for your attention.